I've used the chop saw to make this wooden block. I've used the chop saw because of its precision. I didn't want to cut this by hand. I know that this is square. I've used my 21 millimeter marker for that and this is a standard HO scale truck or bogey and you'll see that that's a really nice snug fit what I need to do next is build the jig around this using the block and some spacers and some pieces to hold everything steady so I can convert that to the same width as that right here there are two angle brackets well there are four there are one two on either side now as I need to do probably more than 20 of these I want to do whatever's going to help me kind of speed the process up so cutting the grooves out of there means that I have to do that once then I can do 20 of those without any more adjustments if I decide to cut these out that means I've got to remove four of these every time that I do that and if I've got 20 of these that means I've got to cut 80 of those against cutting four in there and that's what this is about it's about working out how I can mass produce each piece so there we go those two sections have been removed and that allows the bogey to sit comfortably on there and I've also made sure that it will be able to slide in comfortably once I make the cuts so I've centered that and used a cut popsicle stick absolutely it's lined up with the bogey and the bogey is lined up with the block so that is perfectly square so here we go then I put the extra pieces at the back there to support the whole thing I decided to add a base because when I cut this being taller than it is wide it's going to want to move around so for stability I decided to just create a base there but then I decided to just build these two fillets as well and more tacky glue beads so the whole thing is really really quite strong got my dead center marked out there So there's the HO, and here is the, well I, this isn't even Hornby, this is Lima, Le, Lima come up with this and made these and Hornby have just used them. Got a small rubber plumber's washer there, I will have to cut that down somewhat because it's still a little bit too large. going to use big Stanley knife for this. I'm not going to use a craft knife. I want heavy, strong blade to do the cuts. Everyone has to be a winner. That's why I'm just taking every care that I can to make sure this works. So you know, that can go into there. And that just goes 
from there like that right <laughs> there we go first cut is the deepest now we need to bring that all the way in to here just clips into place like that so that's nice and level just going to take the soldering iron where are we there that's welded the other side there got the the spaces I just made a, a single piece uh, of four layers of card to hold that side at the right distance so now what I need to do is just let me get rid of this soldering iron That's reconnected. Have a look at that. It's absolutely spot on. You can look, see through all the holes at once there. That's perfectly lined. Turn this over and lay that on there. I'll take the soldering line again and just run that along the inside of there just to strengthen that up so here's one I made earlier as they say this has the metal wheels on it on the track nice and smooth no wobbles That sounds great as well. So the next thing to do is just to add some reinforcement. I'll use plastic card. I'll take the wheels out and I'll give that a light spray of matte black all over and then I'll be uh, painting some of these details these are quite similar to the prototype, the ETR 500. There's a shock absorber there. I'll probably do that red. There'll be some red and some white. And I may do some uh, metallic on there. Just something that I, that I want to do with this when I get them all ready. So, there's the jig. There's the, the result. You're probably thinking <laughs> he's gone crazy and doing all this just for that. But if you've seen what I did <clears throat> in the Garden Railway with the plastic track, then you know, you'll know you know that uh, the, the, this is no big deal for me to go through all of this. It's something that I want to do. Now I've got this. It doesn't take long to do one I could probably sit down for an hour and do loads of them get them ready to this stage come back do the reinforcements spray up ready to go so I'm going to leave it here for now just wanted to show you the jig and the results 
of one of those. I want to keep the videos short and I have a lot to show you. The finishing of this and the fitting of a bunch of them will be for another video. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, so I hope to see you again soon. In the meantime, all the best.